time seems to have stood still in the colonial city of Parachi, 250 kilometers south of Rio de Janeiro. But up on the hills, a conflict is brewing. Indigenous leader Nils Atacá is fighting to reclaim what she says are Guarani ancestral lands. We are constantly being invaded. Even during the day, we've surprised men with knives, and somebody set fire to our bathroom while we were having a village meeting. Nilza's father, the village chieftain, bought eight hectares of land in 1998. Since then, 32 people have settled here, most of them women and children. Until recently, the village got along with the neighbors. Not anymore. Tensions flared when the Guarani asked the government to demarcate their lands. And Brazil's National Indian Foundation, FUNAI, said the tribe had the right to an area 300 times larger than their plot. In 2017, FUNAI officially recognized that 2,370 hectares were indigenous lands. The next step should have been to decide what lands, if any, should have been demarcated. But the process was stonewalled when J.R. Bolsonaro was elected president the following year. Nilza's neighbor, Celia, who works as a cleaning lady in a chalet nearby, says her family and others feel betrayed. They've grown up in Parachi and fear that if the area becomes an indigenous reservation, they'll lose their homes. Why do Indians want so much land? Why can't they be happy with what they bought? The judicial system will decide who has the right to what. But we all know that these days, money decides all. If the demarcation happens, the Guaranis will take over this whole valley, a place where farmers and fishermen, but also well-known actors and foreigners, have invested time and money, and which President Jair Bolsonaro says the tourism industry should further exploit, contributing to the rising tension. Since last year, a military police car has been patrolling the indigenous village up there three times a day, seven times a week. The patrols were requested by Rio de Janeiro's program protecting human rights defenders. Our mission is to keep Nossa her alive so she can pursue her legal battle. The mayor of Parachi has taken sides and has asked for the demarcation process to be annulled. It's one thing to have a demarcation process going on in the Amazon or a national park, but here, where there's a local population that's been established, there's bound to be conflict. Funai's indecision to rule one way or the other has only made things worse. This land conflict is only one of hundreds still pending and growing, while thousands of indigenous peoples wait for the Supreme Court to decide their fate. Monica Yanakiev, Al Jazeera, Parachi.